Hi guys. In today's video, we're going to continue with Pascal's triangle, but I'm going to ask you a little bit more of a specific question. So instead of just saying, you know, expand, write the whole answer, I'm going to ask you in our first video for just one part of the answer. So a very specific term. Let's get started. In this example, I'm asking you to find one specific term from the binomial expansion. So I don't want you to expand the whole thing, although we're gonna have to do quite a bit of work to find this one specific term. Um, I just wanna know what is the term that has an x squared in it? Now, unfortunately, to find that term, we are gonna have to start the process the same as we did yesterday. So I'm gonna start, this is uh, to the fifth power. So I'm gonna find row number five on Pascal's triangle. And it says that the coefficients are one, five, 10, 10, five, one. And then I'm just gonna start at the top and I'm gonna follow my pattern. And as soon as I get to one where it's gonna be an X squared, then I could stop the pattern. Or if you're like me, you can just write out the whole thing and then only choose the one that um, gives us the final answer. So, as we learned yesterday, you're gonna take the x squared and you're gonna raise it to the fifth power. Now this is gonna give me an x to the 10th because two times five is 10, so that doesn't really help me. Next, I'm gonna do x squared to the fourth power. Two times four is eight. Again, not what I'm looking for. Next, we'll do to the third power, but this again, no good to me. It's gonna be x to the sixth and I want x squared. When we try the next one, I get x to the fourth, we're getting closer. And on the next one, I do get x squared because uh, two times one is two. So that means this is the term that I'm gonna be looking for. Now, if you want to, you can stop writing your x's at this point in time, because like, we don't care about that last one, we only care about this one. If it drives you a little nuts that you didn't actually finish the problem, you can always write that one down, um, but it's not necessary. What is necessary though, just to make sure that we don't accidentally make a mistake, I do think that you should start back from the beginning to do your letter Y's because we don't wanna make the mistake of like accidentally skipping a number or something like that. And so if we just follow the pattern, it's a little bit of extra writing, um, but we'll be guaranteed to get the right answer. So starting back at the top for my letter Y, it's Y to the third to the zero, Y to the third to the one, y to the third to the two, y to the third to the three, and finally, y to the third to the four. And again, if you wanna stop right there, that's fine, because this is the row that's going to give us our final answer. Or if it bothers you that you didn't write them all down, you can always write down that last one. But again, we're just gonna focus on this row. So I'm not gonna figure out what any of the other answers are. I'm just gonna do this one. Uh, again, for the x, it's two times one, which is x squared, which is great, because that's what I was looking for. For the y, it's three times four, which is y to the 12th. And then the five is the only number. And so this is my final answer. And so sometimes we might ask you for just that one term. So you might still have to do a bunch of work to get there, um, but that's okay as long as we find that answer. All right, I have one more example for you today. I was gonna make two videos. This one's pretty short though, so let's just make it one. For our last example, um, I have given you the first three terms of the expanded binomial. And then the question is, what are the last three terms? So the great thing about Pascal's triangle is that it's symmetrical. If you look at the beginning, it's the same as the end. It's just in reverse order. And so if I give you the first three terms, I'm also, in a sense, giving you the last three terms. If the first three terms, and it's important to point out that this was a very basic binomial, it was x plus y. There's no extra numbers, there's no extra exponents, like very, very basic. So no extra work required, really. Um, if the first three terms had a coefficients of 1, 15, and 105, right? So 1, 15, 105. Then on the other side, it's going to be 105, 15, 1. So it's just the reverse, right? If you look at your Pascal's triangle that you printed out from yesterday, the first three and the last three numbers are the same in every single row. It's, it's symmetrical, it's awesome. All right, remember, uh, with the X's, we were counting down 15, 14, 13. 
Well, if we're starting on the other end, then we can count up for the y's. So if it goes x, 15, 14, 13, for the y's, it's going to go y, 13, 14, 15. And same thing for the other letter. So if we start with a y, 0, 1, 2, we're going to end with an x, 2, 1, 0. So again, it's just the reverse. It's just the reverse. So we've swapped our exponents on our variables, and we're writing them in reverse order. So we started with the 1, but then we're going to end with the 1. We ended with the 105. We're going to start with the 105. This is my final answer. And guys, we finished chapter 5. So I know that it was a lot of stuff, a lot of material. Uh, most of it ties all in together to just make one ginormous monster problem. Uh, we're going to be practicing those a little bit more. We have a quiz later this week, and then our test is next week. So I'll see you later.